Ah, Weathering Waves. Just so many great characters to choose from in regards to this whole game, because I think that Weathering Waves is really good with their characters. So good, in fact, that I would like to say that their character that is supposedly your best friend throughout the whole thing, aka the Paimon of the story, or even the March 7th of the story, Yang Yang, is actually one of the better friends that you get to deal with in these types of games, right? And I find it so cool in general that Yang Yang just seems to be an overall decent character. I'm loving the fact that a lot of these games that are coming out are making characters that work really, really well. But I'm gonna get a little ahead of myself. Today, we're gonna be talking about Yang Yang and we're gonna analyze her kit and talk about what's good about her, what might be bad about her, and also how she ranks up. Now, before we get into that, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when the next Wuthering Waves video comes out. And of course, don't forget, I'm sponsored by the ever wonderful Gamer Subs. Make Make sure to use code Tystra for 10% off. My biggest favorite flavor right now is still Blowhole Blast, which is Shy Lily's flavor. And I'm about to be getting my Asmund Gold Cup, so I can't wait to show that off. But anyways, make sure you use code Tystra for 10% off. But without any further delay, let's go ahead and talk about Yang Yang, right? We're going to be using uh, weatheringlab.com, which is a new site that I've kind of gotten a hold of. I feel as though uh, Weathering GG uh, is not updated as good as it should be and i think that this is the most recently updated uh guide thingy medoodle bob so let's go ahead and talk about yang yang so first things first as i said before i like the fact that yang yang is going to be up oh, sorry i'm just kind of scooting a little bit yang yang happens to be one of the better uh friend characters that you get at the beginning of the game uh she is arrow typing and of course she is also one-handed sword user so she's still really really good in that regard um but yeah her kit is just in general decent. I used her for a little bit when I was playing closed beta 2, and I think that she was she wasn't bad at all, to be honest. Like she she seemed very fluent in what she was doing, right? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. So she does do a uh, set of four uh, consecutive attacks. She does have a heavy attack, of course. Heavy attack wind song. After the heavy attack is used, a basic attack is used within a certain period. Yang Yang will swing a wind blade dealing arrow damage. Uh, heavy attack, uh, abyssal slash. If you release the basic attack during the heavy attack, an abyssal slash will be released when the heavy attack ends causing arrow damage. Now, again, you got to remember with Withering Waves that their combo system is a lot more intricate, in my opinion, in regards to, say, a game that's exactly like it, Genshin Impact. And the reason why I say that is because Genshin, while being really, really cool and, and fun sometimes, uh, is very basic. And Withering Waves takes the whole, like, attack system of just your regular attacks and adds to it because they want you to experience it like say a devil may cry type of game where you could do different types of attacks depending on how you input certain commands now of course we also got the breezy domain resonance skill uh use this uh sword to divide the ah wind field and attract the surrounding targets to the center of the field causing arrow damage now i believe this does pull in some units but not like or some or enemies but not really because i don't really remember it doing that but i believe that's what it might be like what might supposed to be doing or i don't i don't know how to word that but honestly like the attack is decent it's not bad um, but we do have the liberation as well. Swing the blade to create a whirlwind, attract the surrounding targets to the center of the whirlwind, causing arrow damage. This one does actually bring uh, the enemies in. I did use that alt uh, a couple times, so pretty dang good. And then, of course, we also have the Echoing Feather, which is the Forte Circuit. Uh, when Yang Yang holds three Echoes, triggering heavy attack can trigger the Wind Raid, causing arrow damage. Uh, and then, of course, Mid-Air Feather Release. When Yang Yang holds three Echoes, using basic attacks in Mid-Air will consume all Echoes, launch continuous attacks, and dive from Mid-Air, causing arrow damage. After landing, Yang Yang will attract the blade and attack, causing arrow damage, and the damage is the damage of the basic attack and then of course we have the acquisition hitting the target with the fourth segment of basic attack can obtain one echo hitting the target with the heavy attack wind chant can obtain one echo hitting the target with the resonant skill wind flow domain can obtain one echo and heading one or hitting one target with the entrance attack blue praise can obtain one echo now most of these skills are mainly just passive skills 
from now on and also your switch skills because it does have a switch system kind of like uh honkai impact third so let's go ahead and talk about that understanding which after creating the mid-air attack feather release recover 30 points of stamina which is a pretty good passive because you do use a lot of stamina especially when you're switching from regular attacks to heavy attacks so bear in mind having that stamina recovery is kind of essential uh, Mercy right here, after casting the entrance attack Blue Praise, the arrow damage bonus of Yang Yang is increased by 8%, and the effect lasts for 8 seconds. Uh, we also got the switch skills right here. Uh, Cerulean Song, use the sword to juggle the target causing arrow damage, and derivative, or de is it derivative? Yeah, derivative breath, recovers 4 points of resonance liberation energy per second, lasting for 4 seconds. Then, of course, we do have Resonant Chains as well, which are basically like your um, Constellations or Eidolons or anything like that. So the more Yang Yang you get, the better she obviously gets. Now, excuse me, still trying to like, it, allergy season sucks. Um, but Yang Yang for me was pretty dang good. I didn't, I didn't really mind her. Now, she wasn't my favorite character to use, but I definitely think that she was more noteworthy of a character than, say, like our beginning characters in Genshin Impact, like Amber, Lisa, and Kaya, because honestly, I would much rather use Yang Yang in my team that on Weathering Waves than I would use Amber, uh, Kaya, or Lisa in Genshin Impact. So if you do get into the game and you wanna mainly stay free to play, Yang Yang is actually not a bad option because she you get her you get her right at the beginning. She works decently well. Um, and obviously, like even if you look at this tier list here, right? She's in A tier, which is or bleh, not on that tier list. But you could see that she's listed as A tier, which is what the heck am I doing? Um, she's listed as A tier on here, which isn't too bad. Like I I believe their tier list only goes up to S. Now you can't see it here, or oh, it goes up to SS, but you can't see any of the characters on here, which is dumb. Uh, this website does need to be updated in a little bit, but I digress. I think that Yang Yang is actually a very, very decent free to play unit that you're gonna be getting in Weathering Wave. So definitely take the time to really um, build her because I think it's worth it. Now, of course, we'll get into more build guides as the game releases, because I don't think that we should build characters based on their uh, beta test. So if you came here for a build guide, I can't really give you that just yet. We will be working on those build guides after the game's initial release. So, and that's going to be it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below if you're excited for Weathering Waves and check out obviously Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. And yeah, guys, I just want to know what you think in general of Yang Yang, especially with her being a free to play character. Of course, that's going to be it. Love you all to death. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.